All right, guys, this is volume three. Uh, deadlifting. So deadlifts, probably like, again, since I've been uh, doing coaching development with Thomas this year, fucking opened my eyes to a lot of things and really simplified the way that I coach people and being able to coach the deadlift. The deadlift is the easiest of the squat bench deadlift or like, uh, or sumo deadlifting, but today we're gonna to talk about the conventional deadlift. Um, so let's get straight into it. So again, a lot of cues that, that are thrown out there by coaches. I want you guys to understand why you are being taught those cues and how you are implementing them inside of your training to know if you are using those cues correctly. Because the reason why we cue as coaches and the reason why you cue yourself in your head uh, in your head is because you're trying to create uh, a certain feeling, but more specifically, structure around a joint so that your body can express the strength that which it has. So. Deadlifting, rule number one, where does the power come from? Just like the squatting, the power comes from the hips. So the power that's coming from the hips will come up through the body, so the next uh, thing, uh, uh, structure that's, that's there is uh, your abdominals. So the intradominal pressure that you wanna create, breathing and bracing, taking the biggest air that you can get, trying to exhale that breath fully, but you're blocking it off at a, for a closed airway, so you're creating intradominal pressure. And then finally, maintain a rigid upper back um, so that more specifically you can keep your shoulders perpendicular over the bar, they're not rounding over, so that you get that sort of like angry cat back. So really with cues that people use um, for deadlifting, you, the biggest thing and what I've learned is that um, there's no eccentric loading really, or at all in, in deadlifting, just like the squat, you think about a squat, create tension in the hips and then you come down, you're eccentrically loading so that you can use that power to push the bar up. There's none of that in the deadlifting, so you've got to like basically do that for yourself. So what that means, so what that really tells us is that what you're doing in your starting position is gonna have a huge impact as to you completing the lift or not. So you wanna make sure everything's looking, and uh, not necessarily looking right, but it is working in tandem. Tandem, is that the right word? Might be, might not. But it's what everything's working together so that you can lift the bar down. So when you're looking at your deadlift, there's only a couple of things that you really need to be looking at. One, are your shoulders perpendicular to the bar? Are your, is the barbell touching your shins? And can you create um, a uh, rigid upper back so that as you lift the barbell, your shoulders do not fall and your arms, uh, uh, sorry, your shoulders do not fall over the bar. Um, you can add preloading into that, guys, as well. That's that's like the um, stretch shortening cycle where you, you hold onto the bar and you you know kick your um, you lift your hips so that you can feel that tension in your hamstrings and you come down and that there will add a little bit more power. You'll feel a little bit more power in their hips there. But really, deadlifting is very very simple. You just need to make sure that as you're coming down and whether you decide to uh, preload or not, the fact is is that. You want your knees to be slightly over the bar so that you can then use that position, keep the bar, sorry, use that position to pull the bar towards your shins. From there, that's fixed. You're all good from there. You want to take the biggest air in that you can, try to exhale it fully, but don't let it through a blocked airway to create the intradominal pressure. Then the way you create um, rigidity in the upper back, I use two cues for the same feeling, right, of getting your... Um, making sure that the upper back muscles are doing their job. You can think about the every, which everyone's favorite is, putting the shoulder blades down to the back pockets. Something that, a cue that I've been using that worked really well for me that avoids putting people into extension through poor bracing is um, squeezing books or lemons in your armpits, trying to like juice those lemons or crush those books in your armpits to create that upper back rigidity. But the most important thing is, is that once you've created that tension in your upper back, it's fixed and you do not lose it. You don't need to do anything else after that. Right? And then from there, you just think about pushing the, the, the world away. So just to recap, for your deadlifting, there's three major things. You wanna make sure you generate power from the hips, maintaining an, a, a, a braced position, um, and keeping a rigid upper back. The way that you can do that is again, just push the floor away with your hips, making sure just quickly that your foot stance um, is uh, hip width. Hip width is very, very important when you're deadlifting. Make sure you're not going too wide because then your knees can come in. Um, next thing is you're breathing and bracing, taking the biggest air that you can get, trying to force the air out to create intradominal pressure. And then finally, um, 
what you're then looking to do with uh, your upper back is create rigidity in the upper back by, I'm gonna use the cue that I've recent, recently been using, you know, squeeze lemons under your armpits, crush some books, lift your chest, but also maintaining that brace position. And then from there, push the floor away to complete your lift, but regardless of whether you uh, preload or not, you will still end up in the same position. And then what you wanna see on camera, this is why I advise everyone to record their list, is are your shoulders perpendicular to the bar? Um, is the bar in contact with the shins, but you do not want vertical shins because you'll find it very hard to then do step one, which is maintain um, uh, shoulder perpendicular to the bar. And then finally, can you maintain a rigid upper back? And that'll come from the two cues, which I said before. So as always guys, if you want any reviews of your lifts or you want me to go into a lift that uh, you're struggling with I can and I can talk about that and I'll probably do a few more demonstrations on the floor, reach out to me. I really hope this helped and just really uncover some of the myths inside of lifting, make lifting simple again um, and then from there you can make all the necessary adjustments with like your foot position, your hand position but that comes after these three uh, major major cues of the deadlift. So have fun with it, I hope you use it and I'll speak to you very soon.